Boy, Amon, Amon, Amon. He passed up big time. Akira dog. How? Okay, no spoilers, but I'm just going to go ahead and say Amon should have went ahead and taken that kiss. But this episode, man, oh my god, it was just so flipping amazing. The animation, just the speed of the battles that were shown. The devil ape, black dog, Yoshimura himself as the owl. They all took the fuck off, man. And I'm glad they didn't censor it as heavily as they have in some episodes. Because that would have just ruined the immersion of this all out battle right now and I was waiting and I was actually thinking that they weren't going to show the Sukiyama versus uh Kaniki fight or a scuffle or whatever saying would you please not go don't go man they're going to take away my food I'll eat you right fucking now if I have to and it was animated beautifully. I was really waiting on that part like you had no idea. They already took away the bones from us. They couldn't take away the would you please not go, man. Sukiyama is pathetic, dog. I mean, he would do anything to eat Kaniki at this point. And I just love... Like, if you go back to season one and see exactly how easily Kaniki got his ass whooped by Sukiyama. I mean, just seeing him dodge shit like that and eventually actually either tire him out or knock him out to the point where he's crying tears like an actual puddle that just shows how far Kaniki has come as a character and in this season they seem to have skipped and just straight up just left out a lot of Kaniki's progress to pretty much explain to us why he is this badass but I mean I'm not really complaining this episode was delicious and I just love at the end how he says that he could not just sit by and not do anything anymore this shit is about to go down we have we have Yoshimura in there already we have Toka racing there we have Kaniki about to join in and we all know that eventually Eto or Ito however you want to pronounce the name is going to be there all and Yoshimura he finally took the kid gloves off man he's said hey fuck that piece yeah i let y'all live once you came after me again so i'm about to murk you fools he tore shit up and the end man when shinohara said i wish my buddy could have got some of your delicious coffee it's just kind of awesome in a way that these two men sat down with each other and drank coffee together knowing exactly the intentions of the other person i mean that's some manly shit right there and yoshimura said you know what it's on the house dog i'm going to whoop your ass so you ain't got to worry about paying me and nishio my dude nishio he says before he dips he has to get some more of that ass man he just cannot pass it up and Seeing Kaniki apologize to Nishio, like, it's really easy to forget that they were actually enemies back in part one. Like, Nishio whooped the fuck out of Kaniki, and then Kaniki came back and whooped the fuck out of him. So, just seeing them buddy-buddy like this and seeing Kaniki apologize for involving Nishio in this whole mess, I thought that was pretty cool. And the CCG, man, I mean, they're signing those those notes to their family and friends like they know that a lot of them are going to die up against the owl like they already know what it is and arima he always leaves his blank that dude is badass best believe i i hope that it follows the manga to the point where we actually see arima take off in the next few episodes because that dude he is godly man he is like one of the big boss ccg guys oh my god I, i'm getting hyped just waiting for this shit yo but the devil ape and the black dog man they took the fuck off and that just cocky remark when that guy said so we meet again black dog it's been a while she was like bow wow i was like this chick this chick is awesome man and just you wait until the very next episode man if it follows how i think it's going to follow some delicious nutritious shit is about to happen one thing that i will point out is that the ccg assumed that the owl was involved with a giddy tree but in no point ever in this story have we been told that yoshimura has been involved in a giddy tree so we know from the last episode that there are two owls one is yoshimura and one is his child so does this mean that his child is in a goody tree? So tell me what you guys think about that, man, and get your theories going, because the mystery of the one-eyed owl is about to be solved, man. I cannot wait to see some guys' reactions in the comments. And what do you think is going to happen with 
Kaniki and Toka get to the battlefield, man. Oh my god. Kaniki, he seems way more calm and composed than he has been in the past few episodes because he's been flipping his shit, man. Like, he's been letting his centipede fling all over the place. That sounded really bad, but you know what I mean. He seems like he has his mind where it needs to be right now. And just imagine, like, for the manga readers, we already know how destructive it is, but centipede... If Kaniki ever activates Centipede in his right mind, like he controls it and isn't talking dumb shit and mind isn't going everywhere, I mean, this guy would be damn near unstoppable. There were very emotional moments in this episode too, like with Kaniki talking to Nishio and Toka talking to Yomo saying that I'm just as guilty as those guys. I've killed to eat and just because I felt like killing. And just the fact that Yoshimura, the Devil Ape, and Black Dog all knew, they all knew that that shit was coming, man. <laughs> they could have escaped if they really wanted to. Like, there were hours and hours in between the time that Yoshimura fed Shinohara coffee. But the fact that they're doing this out of punishment and also for Yoshimura, this... <laughs> These guys are flipping amazing, man. Rest in peace, Antique. Because who's going to allow this coffee shop to go back in business after all this? But I cannot wait. I really want to say some stuff, but I can't do it. Next episode is going to be one of the best in Tokyo Ghoul anime history. And the very last episode, of course, too. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, you guys. But anyway, tell me what you guys thought. This has been Jamie Dutch. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.